This video demonstrates how to use Telog hydrogen pressure recorders for fire flow testing. Two HPRs are required for the test. The first unit will be attached to the residual hydrant. Begin by removing the nozzle cap from the residual hydrant. Then attach the HPR. Some organizations prefer to flush the water clear before attaching an HPR. We will demonstrate this later in the video. With the hydrant valve fully open, you can check the present residual pressure using our Palm DTU. The second HPR is attached to a diffuser. Inside the diffuser is a pitot tube. Both the Telog Palm DTU and Telogger software can convert the pitot pressures into flow measurements. Once the cap has been removed from the flow hydrant, the line can be flushed to remove any of the initial debris. Let the water run until it is clear, then attach the flow recorder. We are attaching to a two and a half inch nozzle in this video, but Telog also sells both four and four and a half inch units. Actually, an HPR can be attached to any diffuser with a pitot tube and a quarter inch NPT fitting. The HPRs are continuously recording data. This way you get a complete picture of the whole flow test. At the end of the video, we'll give a brief demonstration of Telogger's software displaying fire flow data. As you can see, taking readings while the HPR is dripping wet is no problem. The Palm DTU displays both the calculated flow measurement and the raw pressure. The residual hydrant can then be checked for the appropriate pressure drop. Be sure to close the hydrant slowly. Rapidly closing a hydrant can cause water hammers. For wet barrel hydrants, it is a good idea to make sure the barrel is draining properly before reattaching the cap. The HPR kits are convenient tools for your fire flow testing. Repeat the hydrant closing procedure for the residual hydrant. With the test completed, we will now show what Fireflow test data looks like in Telogger's software. The top graph shows the residual hydrant data and the bottom graph displays the flow hydrants data. With the mouse button depressed, a crosshair cursor appears and follows the mouse's movements. The tabular data on the right is synchronized with those mouse movements. The flow rate and total gallons flowed are shown in the columns on the right. This has been a very brief demonstration of a Telog recorder and Telogger software. For more information, please contact Telog Instruments or one of our local representatives. Thank you.